Free ABC's Cassie Carlisle joins us now with more on what it took to bring the two back to the U.S. Cassie? Yes, this was made possible in large part by the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, and having the two home tonight brings a huge sigh of relief for both families. It's been seven months since Matthew Miller has been home. Uh, for the Miller grew up in Bakersfield, graduated Bakersfield High School, class of 08. It was reported Miller went to visit his brother stationed in South Korea and found a teaching job there. He then traveled to North Korea and took a private tour. While on that tour, he reportedly ripped up his visa and demanded asylum. I will say that I prepared to violate the law of the DPRK before coming here. And I deliberately committed my crime. Six years of hard labor is what he faced on charges of espionage. That's where Director of National Intelligence James Clapper came in. He worked with the DPRK to get Miller and another American released on humanitarian grounds. Kenneth Bay, a Washington resident, was taken into custody while leading a tour group in 2012. He was sentenced to 15 years hard labor on charges of anti-government activities. He spent two years in custody and Miller seven months. Uh, I appreciate uh, Director Clapper uh, doing a great job uh, on uh, what was a uh, obvious uh, and challenging mission. A challenging mission means a sister has her brother back. Bay's sister says she couldn't wait to hug him. We're just so happy to have him home. 23 ABC went to Miller's house, and there was a sign posted on his door that read, Press, do not disturb. We have no comment. Miller's family has not commented throughout the series of events. This news comes just weeks after a third American, Jeffrey Fowl, was freed from North Korea after spending five months in jail for leaving a Bible at a club for foreign sailors. Amanda?